Time now for sports with Scott Breen. Yeah, welcome back, everybody. You know, the reason March is so mad with basketball craze is thanks to characters like Cinderella or the little engine that could. Or as K2's Casey Common shows us, Rocky Mountain College once again trying to sneak up on the world. Exactly 10 years ago today, unseated Rocky opened the 2009 NAIA championships with an overtime win over number 13, Freed Harden. No one could have predicted what would happen next. Coach references that team a lot and kind of almost compares us to them sometimes. You know, they were never a top ranked team or anything like that. So that's something that we look up to almost. Rocky's run to the national title will live forever as one of the Magic City's great sports moments, a story those involved remember vividly. Yeah, it's kind of hard to believe because I got a son who's 10 years old and uh, he's the only one of my kids who got to see a national championship. And I've always told my own kids that, hey, if I ever play for another one and you're in the, in the house, I'll, I'll fly you all out there. I'll find a way. First step, get into the tournament, which Rocky did as the last team in the field. That's the good news. The bad news is that means they draw the best team, number one, Georgetown, out of Kentucky. They look uh, athletic and big, kind of what you expect from the number one team in the country, but um, we're athletic too. Especially senior guard Craig Wilmore, who will compete in the NAIA slam dunk contest on Saturday. You can see why. He won't back down from the Tigers. In fact, many players were excited to see the bracket. Why not? I was pretty excited when I saw they were playing the number one overall seed, you know, get a chance to go against the best competition in the country. I think they're uh, top 98% in offensive rebounding. They average over 11 offensive rebounds a game. And um, hope that works good for us because we're 98% uh, in defensive rebounds. We're one of the top defensive rebounding teams in the country. So, you know, hopefully that'll be a good matchup. At worst, it'll be an experience players remember forever, just like those left over from the 09 trip do. It's great memories. We got James Bullock on the, on the staff now, and, and he gets to go back out there and, and walk in those same footsteps, you know, from a different perspective as a coach, and those are always fun things. Uh, I'm expecting it to be a pretty cool environment. Uh, haven't been to a gym like that probably ever, and never played in front of that many people or been in that big of a gym, so I'm just really excited for the atmosphere. It was a pretty cool one the last time they were here. Casey Conlon, MTN Sports. Yeah, was it ever. Bears are an eight seed as they open Wednesday down in Kansas City. LC State's men also have a Wednesday game representing the Frontier Conference. And Carroll gets in as a three seed playing Thursday against St. Thomas of Texas.